Hi folks, and it's Saturday afternoon and I've taken a quick break from watching the football to unpack this one for you. And this arrived for me yesterday and I was waiting to unpack it with my little boy. But um, unfortunately for me, something else came out on Thursday as well and that's the update to Fortnite. So he was a little bit obsessed with Fortnite and didn't want to do this because he wanted to play Fortnite and I thought I'll let him have a go with it. So my boy's been playing Fortnite and I've been chomping at the bit to unpack this. So let's get into it. Now, I don't know if you guys know what it is. If you've read the title, you will know. But um, I've never been a huge fan of this franchise. Not because I don't like it or anything. But just I've never got into it. But this is what I got. And you should be able to guess by now, <laughs> if you haven't already worked out from the title, that it's Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. And this is the collector's edition. So let's just get that out of there. Put the box aside. And see what it comes with. First off, the box itself is rather nice, and it's uh, as you would expect from Nintendo. They they you know they package things well. It comes with the game, it comes with a wired GameCube controller, and a USB adapter, so you can plug in up to four controllers. So that'll be interesting. I have played with the GameCube controller before, but not that much, mainly on the the original Wii. And on the back, everyone is here, so you know the story. Loads and loads of uh, <laughs> different characters from the Nintendo back catalogue, plus a few others. So, let's get into it and see what we get. Nope, that's actually loose, so I can just peel that away. That's good news. I heard that the, the sticker on the PlayStation Classic was actually ripping the paint off. So it's good news to see that, that that doesn't happen with this. So let's just open up the case. And first thing you see is a roster of characters and it says, let's bring that into view, ready to fight. And then it says it in French as well. And you see the Smash Brothers symbol and the game itself. And it actually is a physical copy of the game. Thank goodness for that. So many uh, special editions, <laughs> collector's editions, whatever you want to call them, arrive these days without the game. So, shall I get into that? Get my fingers in. And there's the box itself. And obviously you'll get this box if you buy the standard edition. And inside there is a little sheet. Nothing much on that. And the little cartridge itself. So that's that. And you've got the roster on there as well. And <laughs> make a note of that, because if you're buying this second hand in the future and you're going to, I don't know, somewhere like CEX, make sure that it actually is the proper inner, because if it's printed CEX on the inside, you'll know it's not the right one. So yeah, if you want a full original. Anyway, that's an aside. That's the game. And then this lifts out and we have the wired controller. So let's get into that and have a look at that. And I don't think I've got any original controllers. I have got a GameCube controller, but I think it's third party. And talking of third party controllers, 
is a little extra coming at the end of this. And that is the GameCube controller, basically the same as it ever was. And long wire on it by the looks of things. This looks like, let's have a look at the, the, the length of the cable, shall we? If I can get it open. That, well, that's a pretty, I would say, yeah, I would say that's a couple of meters, that one. So that's a decent length, that cable. So that's not bad. Yeah. If you like your GameCube controllers, I think this one will suit. This one will do the trick because it's just like the original GameCube controller. From what I can gather from this, looks the same. And it's a while since I've actually touched a GameCube controller, a proper one, but yeah. Feels the same as far as I can remember as well. Just put that out the way. And we get the adapter. Now this is a wired adapter. It's not a wireless adapter, which is a bit of a shame. It'd be nice if it had been wireless, but you can't have everything, can you? And that, as I say, will accommodate up to four. GameCube controllers, which is nice. And it's got two USB connectors. Now, presumably that's because it needs enough power. So you're probably gonna to have to plug it in to two USB ports. So that could be an interesting one. Yeah, but hopefully that will all work well. So I'm gonna put that out the way as well. And there's nothing else in there, nothing underneath. And that's it really, as collector's editions go, it's all right, I wouldn't say it's anything to write home about. I mean, you know, it'd be nice to have an art book or something like that in there. I mean, it's no, uh, <laughs> it's no, not like the uh, last, I forgot what it's called. It's not like the last unboxing I did where it had a beautiful art book and all the rest of it. And I'll put a link into that if you're interested. Um, and that was on the Switch as well, but it was uh, NIS. So, uh, yeah, that's all right. Nice packaging. If you don't need these things, then not really worth buying. Just get the standard edition, but it comes in a nice box. It's not that much more expensive than the standard edition. Like I say, if you factor in the, the adapter and the controller, it's actually not a bad deal. But there's one other thing I want to show you because I wasn't content with just getting a wired controller, I wanted a wireless one. So let's have a look at that. And I've got a purple wireless controller and it's not made by Nintendo, it's Power A. You can see there, it says Power A, but it is officially supported. So let's get into that. Gonna need my knife again. Oh, should be able to get into them. Oh. I love the way they wrap these things so you can't get into them. I think I mentioned before on my previous unwrapping, it's wrapped up like my, like my gran used to wrap presents. Nope, more. Don't intend you getting into it, do they? Well, they think people are gonna steal them. Well, people might steal them if they're in the shop and they're on display. I used to work in a shop once and some guy came in and tried to steal a, a console. Unfortunately, he was talking to the girl who worked in the shop and she was his neighbor. So he got home and the police were waiting for him. <laughs> the world's stupidest criminals. Comes with a battery, that's nice, or two, two double A's. And let's see what we got inside here. The controller. 
itself. And that's actually, I have to say, that's packaged well as well. Can't argue with that. It's a bit clickier than the than the official one. Now, let's compare them. Right. Yeah. Actually, well, not that much difference. It's a little bit clickier. The first, was it L or Z, Z button, has, well, it's more pronounced on the, on the wireless one, the Power A one. To be honest, I mean, if you play it, you might find a difference when you're playing it, but to be honest, they feel very similar. And this one's got a few extras on it. It's got the, the buttons for the switch as well on it, which this one doesn't seem to have. So this one might might be, you know, might be better in some ways. Soon find out when I play it. The other thing to note, I don't know if you could see it when I was holding it up. It's not a trick of the camera. The D-pad on this one is actually slightly bigger. And I have to say, with my big thumbs, I prefer it. It feels nicer to me. I prefer that just because of the size of it. If you've got small hands, probably won't make much difference to you. And as I say, when you're playing, you might find you prefer this one. I like, yeah, I like that one though. Power A1 seems, seems like a decent controller. I say you can only really tell when you've got the, when you've got the thing playing and, and see what it's like then. Uh, the other thing as well, I don't know if you can see, this one's actually got L and R. So again, it's got more buttons than the, the official one. So there are some advantages to the Power A. And they do do a wired one as well. I, I haven't got one of those, so I can't tell you what I think of that. But this one on first impressions seems pretty good. And this one will be good, won't it? Because it's uh, the standard Nintendo one. So it's gonna work just like the original. But anyway, that, as they say, Is that? I'm done. I'm going to go and get myself a cup of tea and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Let me know what you think of this in the comments and we'll have a chat about it. Bye.